today we're back, right? So I haven't given you an uh, I haven't give you a ital video in a while. So today we're gonna make veggie chunks with today we're making veggie chunks with jackfruit seed. Crazy chef, big vibe. Ital is vital, and if you know when I go ital, you know it's always like. You know, I bring this vibe when I go with the Ital stew. So today we're making veggie chunks with Ital stew. And all veggie chunks is, right, it's soy protein. So if you're trying to get down your cholesterol, trying to lose some weight, just trying to take a vibe away from eating meat. Soy protein, usually when I cook soy protein, I like to put a little bit of beans in there right a little bit of coconut milk some pumpkin some okra and as i said today i'm gonna put some jackfruit seed crazy chef big vibe let's get into the video let's get into that vibe crazy chef nothing for nothing when i make idle stew even though it's idle you know we don't put a lot of salt but i want my stew also to have taste and vibe so what i do is i always like to hit it with a little seasoning right just like how you season your meat you want to season your veggie chunks and you want to give it you want to start your meal with a vibe that's what i say i want to start my meal with a vibe so i want to put a little bit of seasoning I want to set it aside right before I even try to cook it so I want it to I want it to stay there and soak up that season and if you know this soy protein it's dried so it's dehydrated then you have to rehydrate it so the fact that you're doing all that you want to use a little I soak it with salt water but even that sometimes is not enough. I want to hit it back with a little, a little vibe. So I always hit it with a little seasoning and then set it aside, let it rest, and then we go cook it. Crazy Chef, vibe. Like, uh, please, like the video, share the video, and if you think the video is beneficiary to you, why not subscribe to the channel? We're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. So a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and then we're gonna just add our veggie chunks. You just want to cook that not too low not too high and you want to cover it right so you want to cover it all right so while we're while we're cooking our veggie chunks right we're gonna cut up some onions some bell peppers some carrots and we're gonna throw that in there and let it cook. We're also gonna add one sketch bonnet to it. We're gonna put half now, half later. Cause uh, see, usually when you get a scotch bonnet, you don't know how hot it is, right? So you don't wanna put the whole thing in there cause then you can't eat it. Cause now it's too hot, right? So, Keep stirring. You want to always check on your veggie chunks. Keep stirring it because your your cutting skills might not, not be so fast as mine. So you want to always check on your chunks. Make sure it's not burning, right? And keep stirring it. Scotch bonnet. We're just gonna cut half and then cut half and then cut half. So we cut it in four. We're gonna add this. Right? So this is our bell peppers, our onion, 
and our carrot. We're gonna add that to our veggie chunks. So that's perfect, right? Nice, a little bit brown. It's dry, right? So that's what you want. Because you want all your flavors to be in there, right? So then we're gonna add all of this. So we're gonna add all of our peppers. We have our garlic, right? So we add all that. And we're gonna just let this saute for a while. We're not gonna add any more oil, butter, or anything. As I said, when you're cooking, cooking item, right, you don't want to add too much oil. You want it to be, you know, as natural as possible. What we're going to do, though, is you know, we're going to add some coconut milk and some pureed pumpkin in there. And what I did is I, I hot... I bring my uh, coconut milk to a boil, right? I bring it to a boil with my pureed pumpkin, and we're gonna let that reduce a little bit. So that's the liquid. You can add coconut milk, you can add a little bit of vegetable stock, whatever is available to you. I like to make my my stock and usually I put a little a uh, crazy chef green seasoning right I put a little bit of pureed pumpkin and my coconut milk and I boil that sometimes I add a little butter a little unsalted butter just for a vibe but you boil that and then that's what I use for the base <clears throat> so so pumpkin right so we're gonna peel our pumpkin then we're gonna dice it up right so peel all my uh I washed everything even what's in the skin I washed it before I like to I like to wash my uh, let's just get this pepper out of here because we're gonna add it back to it right so I like to wash everything even when it's in the skin because what happens is uh, sometimes with like vegetables the skin helps to contaminate the rest of it mm. so we're gonna wash everything this is not the best pumpkin so we gotta like clean it up a little bit. Some stuff in there. So pumpkin. We're gonna throw that in here. This is my this is my jackfruit seed, right? You've never seen what a jackfruit seed is, right? This is it. So what you do is you get jackfruit, you take the seed and then there's a hard coating like this. So you gotta take it off. To take it off, I just, uh-oh. You wanna kinda like walk it a couple times, you know, soften it up. And then cut it right around. Yeah. Lost that guy. This is my uh, okra. What I like to do with my okra is I like to put 
I like to cut them where there's not too small, but they're not too big either. Right? So throw the okras in. These okras are nice, fresh, and soft. Sometimes the okras are hard. This is uh, some cocoa. It's from the Caribbean. If you're from Haiti or the Caribbean, you would have known exactly what this is. And this is gonna provide, you know, starch. I'm gonna put a little bit of dumplings in there also. But so. Some running away. <clears throat> Look at that. Perfect. This is our green plantain. You can use uh, green bananas if you want. But this is a green plantain. You've probably had the ripe one. I don't know if you have had the green one cooked. You've probably had it fried or as a chip. But we're cooking it. So that's my green plantain. And we're just gonna chunky chop. And then we're just gonna throw it in there. We're gonna go over to our stove, check on our veggie chunks. And then we're gonna add this. So now we're gonna add our okra, our jackfruit seed, our pumpkin, right? We're gonna stir that and we're just gonna let that cook. Then we're gonna add our beans. So right now we just added our jackfruit seed. We added our green plantain, some okra, right? And a little bit of cocoa and we're just gonna let that cook for a while we're gonna cover it we're gonna cover it and we're gonna let it cook for a while So we added a little bit of, we added our beans and then we added some green onion and some thyme. So now the only thing that's left to add to this is our dumpling, our dumplings, right? I told you we're gonna add our dumplings like closer to when everything starts cooking, right? So closer to when everything starts cooking you know, our jackfruit seeds cooking. We're gonna add 
our dumplings, right? Dumplings are in. The vibe is right, right? So my dumplings are in and my vibe is fantastic. Crazy Chef, big vibe. I'm gonna leave a, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a playlist of all the items you videos so you can check out the various ITIL stews that I've made over the years, right? Crazy Chef, big vibe. Our dumpling is in. We're giving it another 15 minutes just to let it reduce, because we it's not a soup, it's a stew, right? So you don't want to have too much liquid. You don't want to have too little, right? You just want to have the perfect balance of chunks, beans, starch, and juice. So, Crazy Chef, big vibe. We're gonna let it reduce, and then, you know, we're gonna get ready to serve. Hit that like button. As I said, if it's your first time here, you know, give a brother a vibe, you know, hit that red subscribe button. Crazy Chef, big vibe, big, big vibe. Listen, if your idol stew don't look like this, you're not watching the right video. Look at that. If this is not what your idol stew look like, as they say in Jamaica, make sure your idol stew look like this. That Nutella. Look at that. Real idol. Look at that. No need no rice. This bring down your cholesterol, everything. Let me find one of those uh, jackfruit seed. Look at that jackfruit seed. Pumpkin. Okra. Plantain. See? Dumpling. So the items still for look. Crazy chef.